welcome to Technology TV and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Urban Ears Platte and White on-ear headphones. So let's start off with the actual headphones themselves. So the actual headphones consist of actually quite a classic look and the headband is unbelievably soft. It's actually made out of memory foam. I've actually gone out and bought the white ones but yeah hopefully they don't get dirty too quick so yeah you also get this nice matte finish which is very nice as you can see how simple the design is but how effective and how good they actually look and these are just the white ones they come in a range of different colours as well which I'll go through in a minute so further up we get a rope cord which is a tangle resistant cord as well as you can see it just unravels quite easy no nuts getting in the cable further up we have a mic with a play pause button as well and also if you've got iPod Nano or Touch if you tap it twice it will go to the next track tap it three times and it will go to the previous track which is a nice feature also this wire leading from the actual speaker in the headphone to the band is also a rope cord as well and yeah they are very solidly built I've got to say very very solidly built and they also do fold in like this so if you fold them in like this and they also include their smart smart basically wrapping up the cord method so these two act as little like two pillars for the actual wire so you can wrap around your cord safely and easily and there you go you have it and you can just leave that there, tuck that in there and they will stay there which I thought was pretty clever actually so that's another clever feature from them they've also got another feature which you don't really see often but you will see on new headphones if I show you the bottom of the right speaker there is a 3.5 millimeter jack input and that basically enables um, the person who plugs their headphones in these to be able to listen to whatever you're listening to so if you're watching a movie and on one laptop for instance and someone else wants to watch it sitting next to you they can just plug their headphones in there and sit down and watch it with you without having to faff around with speakers or trying to find uh, a dual port a um, dual port 3.5 millimeter jack so that's another great feature from the company so you do get a four bar, three bar, sorry, um, jack, 3.5 millimeter. It is silver tip, not gold. You get the nice Urban Ears logo on there as well. So yeah, what I'm going to do is quickly show you the range of colours as well. So you've got mocha, orange, mustard, teal, indigo, tomato, raspberry, white, dark grey, and black. I've counted all together that it does come up to ten colours which is very nice. I haven't done an unboxing because I've actually had them about a couple of weeks now and I've lost a bit, of, a couple of bits that were in there. They do include a couple of adapters, an adapter to clip into here that will fit into a Nokia as well and some stickers and stuff. But I will show you the back. On the back there's just a bit of information about the actual product itself. You've got the nice simple looking design and also the feature of, the, it's called the Zound Plug instant music sharing which is quite clever you do get a one year premium replacement warranty it is a 120 centimeter cord as well but it is a tangle free cord as well uh, you get the microphone the 3.5 millimeter jack 40 millimeter handmade drivers which is good as well and a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz which is very nice as well so all in all with the sound quality they're not as bassy as I th as I thought they'd be. Whereas these headphones here, which are the Ryko ear grinds, are so much more bassier. This this seems to lack a bit more in the bass, but more with the highs and mids and the trebles, you seem to hear a bit more. Basically, the vocals will show up a bit more than the actual bass, which for me I don't really like. But they're, they're actually all right. That you sort of have to get have to get used to the amount of bass it pushes out and also the ear cushion bothered me at first it isn't as soft as it looks because it's so so much padding inside it's actually quite tough and it takes your ears about a couple of weeks to get used to it 
I mean, but after a while you do get used to it and they do feel quite comfortable. But to begin with, they will start to feel a bit uncomfortable. But yeah, they're very, very, very good quality. And I'd give them a rating easily out of, out of 8 out of 10 from the sound and the looks. Because I think the looks are absolutely amazing. Because they're that simple. You do get people looking at you thinking, what headphones are they? Because they don't actually have a badge on. Because they haven't got a badge on, you can put whatever. You could stick a sticker on there or whatever you like. It does, however, say the logo, the Urban Ear logo there. Which, when you've got your headphones on, people can't really see. Which I, I like people not knowing what I'm wearing. Keeps them guessing, I guess. However, there is a little tag there. But it is... I guess you can cut it off if you want to, but yeah. I think they're absolute brilliant pair of headphones and you should go check out their website, which I'll leave in the description, and see if there's a colour here that will suit you. They also do a lower on-ear range, which is actually a stainless steel band. Some on some in-ears as well, two pairs of in-ears. They look more sporty. But yeah, they do a whole different range. If I just flick through the book. Orange, green absolutely loads so yeah make sure, make sure you go check them out that's the website there urbanears.com and they do some great products so make sure you go check them out and please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe thanks a lot for watching guys see you in the next one bye